Well, hello there everyone. It's a Monday uh, afternoon and I'm back again to with another mini. Um, I've got my trusty box handy and I've just been going through what I've got in here and I've tried to pull out pinks and oranges this time. So I've managed to pull out a few embellishments and I'm going to use this paper which is an old basic grey paper pad. It's called Konichiwa. So it's another it's another pretty old one. And I mean some of the papers there's no way I'd probably use some of them now, but some of them aren't too bad, and I guess it depends on what project you're working on. Anyway, so I have pulled two paper two sheets out from the paper pad. So they're the two pieces I'm going to use. And I've also got some embellishments. There's some yellows and some pinks. Um, and just some whites. I have some I have some book paper. I might use some book. I might use it. I'm not sure. Um, and a few little bits more over here that I'm going to use. Leaves and a few little flowers. Um, what else have I got in here? Yeah. I don't know. See the colours are again they're like it's an, that's an unusual sort of teal. That's not teal, so oh, and for teal again, I went for teal the other week. Um, there seems to be a lot of teal in this box. I'll just pull it over here. Um, I've got I split it all out into you can see I've got two piles. I've got the lid and the base and I've pulled some out. Um, of the base and put it into the lid as I go through and think well no I'm not going to use that or I'm going to use that and so on but um, yeah there's flowers and I don't think that will really go but uh, again green star maybe a little die cut might go that might go it's pink but not it's not a, it's a, actually a funny pink it's more like a dusty pink I think what's this that says favorite yeah so I think I'll just stick with that that's that that's what I'm going to use let's put that out of the way it's not very much and I've just got a little photo um, that I've already trimmed up and I'm going to mount it on the black cardstock so I just think it will, black will make the the photo actually pop off that page a little bit more. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to be using to do today's or this afternoon's Monday Mini. And um, I haven't quite worked out exactly how I'm going to arrange things, but um, we will see. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I've got everything out that I needed to get out. I'm just going to tear some of this book paper up and create a, a strip. Um, a good, I guess a good thing about book paper is it just adds that, a little bit of background that's sort of that vintage look. But I do know that sometimes you have to read what's on the right, which read what's on the book paper because I know I've used book paper before and it's had some real doozy of some words on it. So, yeah, just a little um, hint there. That photo corner stuck down. So, yeah, I've torn, torn the paper already. I'm just going to lay, lay it. I don't know which way yet, but let's get the photo. And I've mounted the photo on black already. So that's done. And I'm not really happy with the way that that's layered so we'll just have a bit of a fiddle around and possibly could put a little bit more at the bottom maybe just so so there's a bit at the bottom as well yep we can can live with that and this tag it's half a tag so Looks like it's half a project life three by four tag that will sit in there. Um, and then it's just a matter of lay layering the rest of the embellishments that I've picked out. So there's his heart, two hearts, which I probably 
um, use three-dimensional tape. So I might start with the big, the bigger, um, the flowers first. They're a bit bigger, so I'll sort of see where I might put those. Um, and there's a couple of leaves here as well. I wish I had a few more leaves, but I don't, and I don't remember what collection this is from. It could be Cocoa Vanilla um, Floral Die Cuts. And I might put, put that there, put that on this side. I might have a look through my box and see if there are any more leaves in there, just in case. But um, I don't have any other leaves. I don't want to open up anything or use anything out of a packet or and that's not the idea the idea of my my minis is to use is to use um sorry I repeated myself then but you know to use what I have like stashed leftovers scraps and make some use out of it I mean sometimes you look at something you think you're never going to use that again so yeah throw it out but I keep everything for a little while um and i have more in a in a bigger in a bigger container i actually have a couple of bigger containers full of um bits and pieces but um yeah um and then i sort of pull them out and put them into the little box and i try and work with what's in the little box but if you are you know going through your stuff and you think there is absolutely no way i'm going to use this or that then yeah just get rid of it and you don't need to um, yeah, you just don't need to use everything, but um, it is good. So these photo corners, I think one's just slightly broken. So I will have to, if I'm careful, I can, I can use that. I just need to glue it back down. But that's, uh, I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that last. So it's going to go like that. So this is just to give me an idea of. How I might have things, um, and whether it, whether they will end up staying like that, is another question. But um, I mean, you all scrapbookers know that you do rearrange things a little bit if you're not happy uh, with what you what you've done. I wasn't going to use this flower, but I don't because I don't really know whether it actually goes. Um, but it, I don't think it does, so let's scratch that. And my book paper slid down a little bit. Yep, so we want that to poke up above the photo. And that's a bit of a... So I'll probably put a gem here on the corner uh, to soften that corner up a little bit. And obviously some twine on that little tag. And this down here and obviously I'm going to need some, a word some alpha letters so I've got my black alphas here so I probably will pick a word or two off that and I don't have a title as such yet um, and I don't think I've got any titles or, or so such in my box but um, you never know no not, not that. Um, there's some, possibly might be something in that. This is Coco Vanilla. So, oh, maybe these flowers are from the Sunshine Collection. Hello, Sunshine. Looks like it. So, um, there's a lot of arrows in there, but there's also flowers, I think, and a couple of leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six leaves. And what do I got there? Four. So I don't think there's any more leaves in there. But what I'm after is a title anyway. Um, and this little card here actually would be perfect on here somewhere. So maybe instead of... Uh, this is the trouble once you've got it all, it's all down, it's hard to... Possibly that could slide in there like that. And maybe this one could slide in the other side. Something like this. Yep, that one's going to be fixed up up. I'll get rid of that for now. But that will sit there. And then my flowers. I'll have to fix my flowers up a little bit. So maybe 
Yeah, so maybe something like that. Um, didn't solve my problem of a title. Sometimes I think layouts don't need titles as such, as long as you've got something else that sort of, um, you know, that I think, I, I guess some words of some sort, and there's um, words on that. But I probably still will use these little tiny letters and make a, a word or two maybe up the top. And maybe one down the bottom, but we will see. Um, yeah, so I'll leave it at that. I think I've got everything out. I'll put the rest of those things away. Um, and this is using the, the the paper and tearing it has created more scraps. <laughs> and um, who knows whether I can actually incorporate it. I don't think so. I think that's probably enough, unless I um, maybe put a strip up the top or something, but I think I'll just leave it. Okay, now all the fun part, gluing it all together. Okay, another mini done and dusted. So all done, I ended up using this card and putting the white, half the white project life card underneath. This card, it went well because it's, it's got a quote on it. It says, savour the moments that are warm and special and giggly. And I ended up calling the layout, um, savour the moments. Um, the other thing I need to do is find my tiny attacher because uh, it makes it so much easier to attach your embellishments together with little staples instead of pulling it all apart and not being able to remember exactly how you had it in the first place. So I really do need to hunt that down. Uh, the other thing I would say is to, yep, grab your leftovers, put them in a small box. A small box is not as daunting as a big box. Uh, you know, I've got a few other uh, boxes over there and they're all full of bits and pieces, but if I went through that, it would take me forever and I would get frustrated and just put it away. So I, you know, just pull out a pile and put it in a small box and that makes it a lot more easier to to tackle and you can also just work through it you know in your own time sort of thing so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video um just getting the, the you, you know the hang of um the videoing side of things and i did try and record the gluing part of this process uh, and and sped up the video a little bit and i guess it's like anything it just takes a while to to learn and as i do more of it i'll probably pick up um, a lot more little um, ideas and improve as I go along so yep I'll catch you next week so hope you come and join me again next Monday for another Monday mini see you later bye